Hi viewers, welcome to Alama Solution. Today we are going to see about closed loop control of switched inductor double switch high gain DC DC converter. So, this is a simulation model we developed for a switched inductor double switch high gain DC DC converter. So, normally this uh, converter going to be used in the PV application so we can use in PV application because uh, the PV application uh, we need a high voltage gain DC DC converter because the PV panel voltage normally is around uh, 17 volt to 40 volt okay most of the panel right so when you are going to integrate with the grid or some other application right so we need to boost the voltage from that particular voltage to around uh, 200 to 400 volt right so during that time we need a high voltage gain DC DC converter so this converter can be used for that particular application like PV application integrated with the uh, grid so here we have some uh, close to setup to control the output voltage of the converter so here you can see that the input voltage we are we have 40 volt and output voltage we are going to maintain at the maximum 200 volt okay and also this system is designed for a 200 watts and then here we have a double switch right so this double switch and this inductor switch inductor right so both are going to be increase the, the gain of the converter from 40 to 200 okay so normally a conventional boost converter we can uh, uh, increase the voltage up to two times of the input voltage right so here you can see that if in conventional boost converter if input voltage is 40 volt right so we can uh, increase up to maximum 80 volt right but here you can see that in this uh, example we are in boosting the voltage from 40 volt to 200 volt uh, that mean uh, the gain is almost uh, more than 2 right so as per this uh, example the gain will be around the 5 okay and also we need to maintain the output voltage constant always ir irrespective of the, the changes in the load as well as uh, source voltage variation okay so here we are going to measure measure the, the output voltage of the the converter and it will be compared with the reference voltage okay and then it will be processed via PA controller that PA controller will be processed via PW generator so this PW generator will be control this to switch in order to maintain a load voltage always constant irrespective of load changes and the source voltage changes okay and also this PA controller can be tuned by means of uh, uh, PAD tuner app in the MATLAB. Okay. Now I am going to explain the simulation result of this model. Initially, I am going to, uh, that mean here I am going to keep that input voltage is 40 volt and uh, the load resistance equal to 200 ohms. Okay. Uh, that means 200 ohms means we are we are operating the test system at the full rated power condition, right? Now we are going to here I am fixing that. Uh, the reference voltage is 175 volt so we can increase that uh, voltage up to 200 volt as per our design that means here we are designed for a 200 watts right output voltage maximum at 200 volt right so here i am going to simulate this model and then we have to check the results so here you can see that the load voltage right after 0.1 second is going to maintain it it, it is made in, main, maintained at the 175 volt and, the, and also you can see that the the load current is around uh, 0.8 amps and here you can see that the, the power load power is around uh, 150 watts okay and we are operating that system at 175 volt right so here i am going to change the load voltage from 175 to 200 and then 200 to 175 and then 175 to 150 and then we have to check the results so here once again i am going to submit the model after some seconds, right, it reach one something right. I am going to increase the reference voltage to 200, 
and then you can check the result right now you can see that the load voltage is maintained at 200 and then here you can see that the load current is maintained at 200 amps and then load power is 200 watts okay now i'm going to reduce the load voltage that means reference voltage from 200 to 175 and then you have to check the result so here you can see that the load voltage uh, is settled to 175 after 0.2 seconds right so now i'm going to change to 150 volt here i'm going to fix 175 after some seconds i'm going to change to 150 volt and then you have to check the results of the load voltage load current load power now now i'm going to change to 150 now you can check check the load voltage right load voltage change from 175 to 150 volt and the load current change from 0.8 amps to 0.6 amps or 7 amps and then uh, power load power around the 110 watts okay so this is a load uh, that means reference voltage variation right that means sudden changing reference voltage variation now i'm going to fix the load voltage equal to 175 volt that means i'm going to fix the reference voltage equal to 175 volt and then we are going to maintain the voltage a constant in the load end and here i'm going to vary the load voltage right so for that i'm going to use this controlled voltage source so here i'm going to fix uh, the initial voltage will be 40 and final voltage will be 45 after 0.25 seconds right that means uh, this is nothing but a line voltage regulation how that uh, controller will be work for uh, changing a line voltage or input voltage so here i'm going to so with the model so initially it will take some time to settle to reference voltage 175 so here after 0.25 seconds we are changing the voltage from 40 volt to 45 volts so because of that uh, so the load voltage will be having transient after some uh, after some time right it again is uh, maintained at 175 volt so because of changing voltage from 40 to 45 volt in the input side so next time you have to change the voltage from 40 to 35 volt and then check the results so initially take point, point 0.1 second for the 175 volt at time of 0.25 seconds we are changing the voltage from 40 volt to 35 volt so here also you can see that because of reduction the voltage so the voltage will be reached some lower level that means around uh, uh, 160 volt and then after some time it again reaches to 175 volt right because of this controller right the load voltage always maintained at 175 volt okay so this is uh, line voltage variation so next i'm going to check the results with the load load power variation right so for that um, here initially i'm going to operate the system at 50 percentage right 50 percentage load so after some time i'm going to add another 50 percentage of load by using this setup okay i am going to simulate this model now so because of 50 percentage load you can see that the uh, and the load current is around is 0.45 amps right and load voltage maintained at the 175 volt and then here you can see that the power will be initially is around 80 watts right after 0.25 seconds what happened right the 50 percentage load will be added in the system so that's why and the load current change from 0.4, uh, 0.45 amps to 0.8584 uh, amps right and then here you can see that because of load variation there is no uh, changes in the uh, load voltage right so it maintained at 175 volt and also you can see the changes in the load power right so this is known as the that uh, load power variation the converter okay otherwise called load resistance variation the converter so this is an operation of uh, uh, chuchuri inductor double switch high high gain dc dc converter with the closed loop control
Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.